This might be a crazy podcast. It's your host, YGB Rodriguez. And today with me, I got seven with me. Yes, sir. What's up, buddy? How you feeling? Shit, chilling. You know how this shit go. I see you dropping a lot of music on your stories, on Instagram. How that shit coming along? Man, I just been, that's all I've been doing is trying to work for real. Standing in the studio. For real. Just moving forward for real, for real. Just, you feel me? Getting shit together. Just getting shit together. How's life? It's, it's, it's straight, for sure. I can't complain. Can't complain. A lot of shit, you know, can't complain. Where are all your music platforms at? You can find it on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all platforms, for real, for so real. So you go by seven. How you get that name? Uh, Long time ago. Long time ago? Long time ago. My homie just gave it to me, touch it. Was it like a special number uh, occasion that you got that name from? I guess you could say that. Well, you got you to gotta explain to me. Because um, you know seven a lucky number. Yeah, it is a lucky number. I'm a lucky person. For sure. We'll make you so lucky. I'm blessed. That's How you I blessed? Say. I'm blessed. How you blessed? What do you mean? I'm, I'm blessed. It, it wasn't a certain occasion in your life. life where you felt like you were super lucky that had a name seven? Yeah. Can you explain that? I'm that lucky time? to be alive. I know that's right. Why, what you mean by that? I know you just went through a traumatic, you know, yes, sir. injury. See, I mean... I just look at it like that's, it's just another chance, you know. Hmm. Could have lost my life type shit. Can you explain what happened? Uh, like where where it happened that on your body? I got shot. I got shot twice. Hmm. One in my finger, one in the, uh, behind my ear. Hmm. I still still got a bullet lanced in my in my muscle. That's a blessing to be alive. You know, Hell my yeah. brother was just shot. Same areas, uh, kind of like same story that you went through. Shot out raw for sure. He at a younger age. Man, other than that, man, what's what's been going on, man? What are we expecting from you in the next year? New music, new, new music videos, stepping on niggas next, all type of shit. You know how this shit go. Mm. Real life, just trying to put in that work for real, for real. Uh, trying to do do what I need to do, go to the next level. So you was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio? Nah, I was born in Cincinnati. You was born in I Cincinnati. Was raised, yeah, I was raised here since I was a baby, though. Mm. So might as well sound from Columbus. Is there anybody in Columbus you would want to do a feature with? I do a feature with anybody. Anybody that uh if 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 it's if it's right, then for sure. Like I don't like to just do feature with just anybody though for sure. Like I mean, but like if it's presentable for sure, anybody. How was life growing up in Columbus, Ohio? Is it a place you would want to raise your kids? Uh, I mean, it's crazy shit that happened all over, not just Columbus, you know, but... A lot of people think the country better. It might be. To some people, it all depends. Mm-hmm. You know, so how you move, who you know, all type of shit. You feel me? How you, how you doing in life type shit. You feel me? Is there anybody in the industry you want to do a feature with? Yep. No cap, right low. No cap and right low. Yep. I'm my top two for sure. Who you think the hardest? Mm, that's a hard one. I need, I need, like, the honest answer, like... You know, no cap or right low. You know, that's a real debate. They both going up, though, so it's like they both they both be elevating, too. So it's like mm-hmm. I can't even compare that. I can't even. You're going to have to. They on the same team. You're going to have to put me. Like, you're going to have to put up another rapper against him type shit. For sure. I can't I can't put them. You know, a lot of saying. people think NBA young boy the hardest in the game right now. Young boy going crazy right now. He definitely going crazy. He's he like number thing. one on YouTube, Spotify. Yep, numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie for sure. He doing his thing. When's your next upcoming project? You putting a date on it, or you just you just uh, gonna I drop it unexpectedly? Yeah, I, I I think about I'm thinking about dropping it unexpectedly for real, for real. Eighty percent done. Mm-hmm. It's almost finished. What motivates you? Life, what I be going through, everything I see daily basis, mm-hmm. everything I go through, everything I you feel me, people around me, it could be anything like whatever I learn from, whatever I experience. Mm-hmm. Do you think the stuff that you've been through creates your music? Yeah. I have no like I, I write my music from emotion, so it, it goes off of everything that I'm going through For and sure. everything that I've seen, everything that I know. Do you think when people listen to your music, they feel your pain? They can feel it for sure. Mm. They definitely can feel it because, like I said, everybody, everybody got emotion. Everybody goes through things, so it's like we all like people can definitely relate to the stuff I be talking about. For sure, for sure. Um, other than everything that's going on with the music, man, you gonna do anything else? Uh, right now that's all I really is focus on this music and getting my life right, mm. getting money, all type of shit. Mm. Do you got I'm like a daily on. routine you do every day, or you just like uh, you just wake up and go? 
it's, it's different every day. It's mm-hmm. different every day. I might wake up and go. I might wake up and just, you feel me? I don't know. I might be lazy some days. It all depends on how I'm feeling. You know how that shit go. Mm-hmm. I remember Lil Boozy had posted something on the internet, mm-hmm. and he said if somebody sleep past 12 o'clock, you know, that ain't no man. Sleep past 12? Yeah, like if you're in, if you're in a bed, and you you still in the bed at 12 o'clock, and you ain't nothing active working, you lazy. How you feel about that? Uh, Early bird get the worm. For sure. So it was like, you feel me? You want to go get it. I mean, everybody got different schedules at the end of the day. So it was like, I want to say, like, you feel mm. me, nigga, lazy for that. I might be on his schedule. Mm. That might be his sleeping time. For sure. How was how was your, you know, lifestyle in high school? Was you like a, is that where you, like, created your fan base? Nah. Uh, I could say, like, a lot. Like, I've been rapping in high school. So a lot of people do know that I make music and stuff like that. And a lot of people was. Telling me a little shit here and there, how they fuck with my music. But at the same time, it's like everybody grew apart. So it's like, I don't know. I still got people that stuck around. Mm-hmm. Still still uh, checking in, tapping in my music, all type of things. So it was like, yeah, I could say they're a part of it. Mm-hmm. Everybody in my life, for real, for real, part of it. Like everybody that, that, that that's tuned in that I still been in uh, contact with every now and then, stuff like that. Have anybody in the industry contacted you about your music? Uh, it's a couple before a couple. Can you like say their names. Or past couple years, um, you tapped in with you. Yeah, I was supposed to do something with with Hood Rich, Pablo Juan, Free Hood Rich for sure. For sure, Free Hood. He Rich. wanted me to be on his um his mixtape. He was mm-hmm. going, he was going host and shit like that. But you know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Shit you, happened in between. For sure, that's the only person that you know contacted you. Uh, I talked to uh. I got a few DMs with Zaytoven, got a few DMs with Bow Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like little shit for real, for real. How you feel about Bow Wow not, you know, rocking with the city as much as everybody expecting to? I mean, I don't expect him to just off the fact that, like, I, I don't know. I don't. I personally don't. I don't think he actually from Columbus. I think he probably from like an outer city or something like that. So it's like, would you that come ain't back? His, that ain't his duty to come back in. Like, would you come back to your city? Uh. Come back as in like what? If you made it in the game, you know, you gonna come back. You know? I'm definitely moving. How, I'm know? definitely moving, getting away and shit like that. But like giving giving back stuff like that, doing stuff for for the community here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd definitely be involved in that shit. But like me being here, staying here, mm-hmm. nah. I know you got an event coming up. Can you can you talk about that a little bit? Yep. Um back to school giveaway, book bag giveaway for the kids, just throwing something. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be performing, a couple artists are gonna be up there, vendors entrepreneurs that's trying to get their business their merchandise out there stuff like that they're just gonna be around just something positive for the kids in the community how important is the community to you i, I think it's really important you feel like you should always be tapped in with what's going on uh, i mean not necessarily because we ain't gonna always keep up with what's going on so it's like mm-hmm. you know everybody got their own shit going on for sure for sure how you feel about you know females using only fans as a as a you know a job Work plan, you you don't be tapping into girls only fans and stuff. Nah, I don't, I don't be nah. I don't do that. I never subscribe for only fans. Never bought. Not like even with that. the promo deal. Not even with no promo deal. Nope. I don't want yeah. no fifty percent off. I don't care how good the deal sounds. <laughs> I don't want. I don't care how bad you is. I'm just not buying nothing like that for sure. Would you ever make only fans for my music? For your music, well, no, if nobody tap in with it, and they want you to switch it up. Oh, then, like, I mean, I feel like my real supporters tap in, so it's like for sure, for sure. That's how I look at it. You got me. a lot of supporters. Uh, Would you say like your support group big? It's decent, but I'm not satisfied. Right. I mean, but it's definitely it, it, it's it's steady growing, mm-hmm. evolving for sure. But like, nah, I'm not satisfied where I'm at. Nah, I'm still working though. What do you want to see on. progression in yourself over the year, over the years? Um, you do you think you lack at anything? I wanna I wanna like for one I wanna make myself like I wanna be be at a point to where like I'm happy with like everything that's going on in my life type shit. So it's mm-hmm. like. I got to be happy. I got to work on myself before I work on anything else to help me move forward type shit like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like that. that's my main focus, like get my mindset right, getting everything straight, you feel me? Like you like you feel me? Just just moving, moving different than mm-hmm. what I was before type shit. Do you feel like the people you was around was causing you to make bad decisions? Yeah, I definitely was around a lot of people that like uh, I didn't see was like bad influence on me or like doing like 
I don't know. There's a lot of shit I didn't recognize or I didn't realize back then mm-hmm. that was like really holding me back and shit like that. So I just, I mean, but I see, I, I see what be going on type shit like that. So like I got away from a lot of people. I picked up on a lot of shit. You feel me? I just been, you feel me? Working on myself for real, for real. So it was like. How important is marketing your music to you? Do you do a lot of marketing online? Definitely. You got to get you yourself just want natu- out Or do you just want natural views? Nah, you got to get yourself out there. Like natural views, it could come like that in a way, but it's like it's not that easy for me. Everybody don't got it like that at the end of the day. So mm. you got to definitely work towards that, work towards everything you want. You feel me? So it ain't going to just come like that. But like some people got different cases. So that's how I look at it. Definitely got to promote yourself. Get yourself out there because you're sure. a brand at the end of the day. You got to sell yourself. Do you plan? You do you plan on traveling anytime soon to like do shows in different cities? Um, nah, not 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 lately. But like, I definitely, definitely am open mm. for sure. Definitely getting booked, all type of shit. Like, definitely got shows coming up. How many How many shows have you did so far since you've been rapping? I did about three shows. Mm. For sure, I did about three shows. Like did you that. like the experience? It well, the experience was yeah. it like healing? It's fun. You gotta have like. It's fun because like that's that's something I want at the end of the day. Like for me, I want to do that. that's what I, that's what I do this shit for. So it's like I want to have fun with something like that. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the right energy for shit like that. You got haters in Columbus, like people you beef with or anything? Uh, nah, if, they, if it is, and I don't know about it. Right. If it is, I don't know about it. They beefing with themselves. <laughs> they beefing with themselves. They beefing with themselves. They gotta be. I mean, sure. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody out there that got something bad to say, but it be like that. Mm-hmm. I ain't tripping. No. Oh. A lot of stuff going on in the world, man. How you feel about the situation that just happened when the cops shooting him? 